I came on a peaceful means, then there's something that goes beyond that. I know him, the CEO himself, Lieutenant Colonel Ali, of recent, because we have emphasized we want the oil production of Nigeria to increase so that we'll be able to have enough foreign exchange and then things can really go down because we all know the challenges we're going. And so he insisted that all illegal activities within the general area must stop. So he directed all his troops and they were stopping all this illegal bunkering, stopping all these things, and then these are the people benefiting from it. And so when this issue came, I think it came as an opportunity for them to also do and do it all with him. And that's exactly what happened. Uh, we know who, the, who did it. We are following up on him, and it's just a matter of time. We are sure we're going to get him. But they took away again arms. We must get those arms back. We must get those guys so that they can be prosecuted accordingly. Greetings to you, my country people. Greetings to you, greatest and wonderful people of Biafra. We are here again. And the reason we say we will bring this message now for our people to understand what is really happening. And for our people to understand the 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 lies the lies that this zoo government has been built upon. This is a government that has been built on lies and when you have a government built on lies it is uh, built on a faulty foundation and when something is built on a faulty foundation it is bound to collapse and that is what you are seeing today the collapse the preamble for the collapse is what you are seeing today what you just heard the chief of defense staff CDS Musa Christopher what you just heard him say now is completely different from what they posted earlier. They posted earlier that this man just went for a peacekeeping mission and the youth of that area, Ukwama and uh, Okoloba community, that they were just buried in those community, just like that. And one begins to beg, what led to the buying of these people? Now, this army chief has come out to say that it is no longer peacekeeping mission, but that they are fighting oil bunkers. They are fighting against oil bunkery. Do you understand it now? That they are fighting against oil bunkery. They want to increase the output, the oil output of the zoo. And so that was why they went there and they were fighting against people who were doing oil bunkery. And that it was those people who were involved in oil bunkery that buyed him and uh, his other uh, officers and soldiers that were with, with him. Now, which one is true? That the official handle of the zoo military posted three days or two days ago that the 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 the, 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 the commander of 181 amphibious battalion uh, lieutenant uh, colonel uh, ah ali went to that community for peacekeeping and then all of a sudden the chief of defense staff after a few days came out to say that they were chasing uh what is it called uh people who are involved in oil bunkery and that they, they it is those people who are involved in oil bunkery that led that attack that caused the buying of over 20 something uh, uh soldiers have you seen the disparity in their story have you seen the 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 the, the, the you know Mm, falsehood falsehood clear falsehood in their story but let me show you another story of people who are there and who know what has happened let me show you this Okuama and Okoloba they get land issue the land issue small crisis called a day oh now where be is your people where federal government give power to the bomb buckery, to the bomb dessert and the cook. They use the same army, they escort their own, they go sell. They betray their own blood. That man, 
You go use the army, carry people from Okwama community. Three people where they carry, they slaughter them. Now, they know they come back to come carry community leaders. And I know very well, say, once the community leaders are captured, the youth are powerless. The action take place. When they make comments, say, now peacekeeping, all those army come. Point of correction, no army come for peacekeeping. They they fight in favor of Tompolo, because Tompolo have ordered them to do so. When they say, make I show my face, all these are comments, when are the comments? Now just ordinary written. Now writing, and just the right. If I know if you talk through for this is my land, no girl we are go go when I go talk to when I go believe her. Now this video will be the last video when I go do. My papa, a retired captain for this Nigeria. He died last year, retired as a captain in the army, and I don't lost overseas of my friends and relatives for this Nigeria. Remember, as an army, this Nigeria is not worth dying for as a country and they let you know so if you wanna like when I carry this matter from here to the next level if you wanna like me federal government declare me wanted I'm proud of it yes I'm proud of it now they say show your face if I show my face what do you go do me what do you go do me so to talk through for this country now and a crime. No wonder what they say truth is always bitter. Crisis day between two communities. I don't know if you call the elders, I don't know if you call the leaders to settle the issue amicably. You they want oppress one side for other side. You they call them peacekeeping. I said that they keep peace. Now you have heard the truth coming from the source, coming from people who are involved in what is happening, who know what is happening in those communities. Two people have two communities having issues, and the zoo military is supporting one community and trying to oppress the other community. I said it in my previous video that they are trying to oppress the other community. But people thought it was just a joke because how can you come and you want to take the elders of one community instead of taking the elders of the both community why would you even want to take their elders you came for peacekeeping settle them and go your way settle them and go your way why are you trying to arrest them again when you said you came for peacekeeping these are some of the anomalies that happen and people just keep quiet without you know frowning you know vigorously against it perhaps this military general uh, this uh, military commander has interest perhaps he is being given some you know court from whatever is generated from that place he has a court and that is why he would leave his barracks as the commanding officer of that barracks to come to community that he is claiming to come and do peacekeeping why can't you send your boys to go there? Why can't you send one of your officers or two of your officers? Captain this, Captain this, go there with so and so so soldiers. Go and find out what is happening. Have discussion with them and try to settle the matter with them. Why would you yourself, as the commanding officer of a battalion, go for that kind of mission? If you are not involved, if you are not, you know, gaining something from there directly, People must begin to reason outside the box to really understand things. And that, that, that is why we keep on hammering on critical thinking. Critical thinking. Now let me play something else for you. Another narrative from other people. Listen. On the 14th of March, 2024, they at home that very day, and I saw that uh, some military personnel, army came to Okwama. So they now welcome them. They say they want to walk around the community. They walk around the community. Say they want to go to the town hall. They have a peace talk. They now went to the town hall. They, they now interrogate them as the military men. They welcome them. So they now ask for the community chairman and the community leaders. 
So they sit with them and they have a peace talk together. Then after that, they now ask the community shaman and the community leaders, some other leaders, to follow them. So they say, we have already have the peace talk with you people. So you have to go. They say they must take the leaders away. So they say no. So from then, the army turned the whole story to violent. Right there in the community town hall, then the army started shooting our people there. Then from there, people started running. Some were killed instantly. Then everybody ran away because nobody expects a, a shooting of an army in the community that very day. Then the army now went. Within a while, the army now come back again with more reinforcement, gunboat, and all that is. And instantly, about 20 persons was killed. Then when they come back again, they begin to shoot. They killed nothing less than 50 persons. Then the following day, they now mobilize again. Some of the army, they are coming from Bamandi, and some of them are coming from Okwabe. They come together and burn the whole community down. That was on the 15th of March. So the whole community was raised down. That very day, we don't expect that we just see some two gunboats come with army. So we come surprised, say we don't get problem with army. Then we ask the waiting app, we say they want, they want, they come for peace talk. So then we welcome them. It's a thing that very day. After the entertainment, when they won't go, the person they won't take our chairman and the leaders along. We say, ah, for peace talk, we won't come, we carry our leaders, they come out. We know go along and carry the come out. So the army, army they just change all of a sudden. They not be like people we it's a thing just like just like. Then they begin open fire. That process of firing, our youth, old women, children, that's for more than 20 of them instantly. Later they come out. When we say, no, then we come back again. Begin the open fire. Then on the 15th of March 2024, they come back again, both the whole community. Both every house is when we say, they will come a community. Some of us now, our children, we never see them. Our parents will never see them. Inside the bush now where we hide now so. So dead body dead here. Now we they talk so. Now this is what the people of Okwama community in Delta State are passing through. This is the injustice against them. But the military will come out to lie. To lie. To lie to our faces and to use that lie and propaganda to commit more crime against the people of Okwama community. They have burned down their houses, they have raised their community, and they want to now annex that particular area and take it by force. This is the initial plan. Because you cannot say you are coming for peace talk, and after having the peace talk, you now want to arrest they are leaders. It is not done. It is not done. But they come out in public to lie and carry propaganda and false news. These are confessions coming from the people themselves, the owners of the land. These are confessions coming from the owners of the land what transpired people who were there are now saying what transpired this is what transpired but what do we have we have a military who will always come to lie and to lie to our faces and say we can do nothing remember this man uh general nenche when he was the general they the, 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 the military committed all the crimes they committed against the people during NSAS. And when he retired from being a military officer, he came out to say that he needed to lie 
to protect the oath he has taken and to protect the zoo but you have lied against the citizens of that zoo you have lied against the citizens you are meant to protect you have decimated them in the most gruesome manner and you lie about it and you 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 claim it was nothing this is the kind of things that are happening in this country and people like us who believe in Biafra say no we cannot continue to live as though we were slaves or as though we are slaves in a land that belongs to us we cannot continue to live like that and that is why we are now coming out to demand for our right which is the right to self-determination and that is why we are asking for the restoration of the united states of biafra the restoration of biafra the restoration of biafra so we cannot continue to live with people who are perpetual and habitual liars people who do not care about the well-being of their neighbors people who only care about themselves and whatever affects the other they do not care about we cannot live with such people and that is one one of the many reasons why we want our own nation thank you very much for listening it is always biafra first